Good morning, you guys. I know it's been a long time since I've been up here. And I just wanted to let you know, I've been a little under the weather, but I'm much better now. I had a video that I filmed before, and I wanted to make sure I got you guys that information. That would be this video, HTV versus self-adhesive vinyl. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for more videos I got coming out now because I know I've been MIA, but I've been seeing all of your comments because I really truly appreciate all of the interaction. Like I said, although I've been down, the channel has still been growing, but we about to get back on track. So stay tuned for this video. Hello, welcome back to Marcella's Way. As you know, I'm Marcella. Today's video is going to be heat transfer vinyl versus self-adhesive vinyl. Now, at first glance, you would think that these were the same things, and when you order them online, if you don't know the exact difference between them, sometimes it can be easy to accidentally order the self-adhesive vinyl because it's cheaper. And I did that myself when I was first getting in a t-shirt business, when I was first learning how to do t-shirts and I was ordering vinyl, I was just like, oh my goodness, like they got all of this vinyl in one pack for $13 and then you order it and realize it's the wrong thing. But first, before we get into the video, if you love the videos that I've been putting out and you find them very informative, make sure you share this video with a friend, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get that out of the way now. So go ahead down below under this video, there's a red subscribe button right there. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and then come back so we can get to the video. I'll wait here for you. All right, so welcome to the Marcella's Way family. I'm so excited that you are a part of this wonderful growing family. And I'm excited for the information that's to come and that has already come. So let's go ahead, without further ado, let's get to this video and let's go. Okay, so the first vinyl that we're going to look at is going to be self-adhesive vinyl. Now the proper term or the proper name or brand for this particular vinyl is Oracle 651, okay? This is actually self-adhesive and one difference between this and the heat transfer is there is a white paper backing on this. There is not a white paper backing on the heat transfer. So that's an automatic difference. The reason for this is because with heat transfer, there is a plastic backing slash fronting, and you will see exactly what that is in a minute. So if you see here, you will see it pulls right off of the paper, which means when you're using the Oracle 651 or the self-adhesive vinyl, you do not have to mirror this one. You really just have to leave your image as is the right way and then cut it just as is because what you're going to do is you're going to take transfer tape, which if you have bought self-adhesive vinyl and you do not have transfer tape under this video in the description box, there will be a link that you can buy transfer tape because if you do not have transfer tape, you cannot use the self-adhesive vinyl unless you're doing a big image that you can pull off and just stick on it. Otherwise, you need transfer tape. So that's that's one thing there. And if you see, of course, self-adhesive, it is sticky. It's sticky on the back. So the point of it is to stick to different items. Now we will get to HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl. Now, sometimes people say HTV vinyl, but that's kind of like using a double word, heat transfer, vinyl, vinyl, you know, whatever. So as you see here, 
there is not a paper backing on the heat transfer. There is actually a plastic, some would call it the back, some would call it the front, but there is a plastic transfer tape or transfer backing on it. If you see, there is a plastic, a plastic part on there. If you get vinyl and it does not have that plastic part on it, it's probably eight times out of 10, not HTV. The only vinyl, HTV vinyl, that would probably not have a plastic part on it, that would usually be like patterns. Usually those require a um, heat resistant plastic that you have to apply to it. Most, especially just regular white, black, red, all of those have a plastic part. Now, if you see, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but both sides are shiny but one side is much shinier than the other. So when you're putting your image here, you make sure that you are cutting on the dullest side. Now, some vinyls don't have a shiny side on it. Some of them, some of the backings, you have to be very careful. Like I have had vinyls before and I'm like, is there a plastic backing on here or what? Because I can't find it. But Just if you have to take a corner and pull it apart, do that. With heat transfer vinyl, you want to make sure that you mirror all of your designs. It is very, very important because when you mirror the design, it's supposed to be flipped horizontally. And then when you pull the excess off, you will take this and flip it over onto your t-shirt. That's with heat transfer. Heat transfer is for garments. Self-adhesive vinyl is for non-garments, items that you're not going to use heat, items that are hard, items like cell phone cases and things that you won't be washing, you know, items that are hard surfaces. Both of these items you can get from Amazon. Um, there are a couple of companies that sell both of these. I will leave a video right here of the different companies on Amazon that sell both of these items. I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that gave you a basic idea of what the difference between heat transfer vinyl is and self-adhesive vinyl. If you guys have any more questions on these two things, make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure that you are liking this video because liking the video really helps me to be able to make more videos like this because it tells YouTube that you like what you see. So thank you for coming back to my channel. I know you guys are doing an amazing job and I hope that I'm helping you on your journey with all these videos. Here will be a playlist of all the different videos that I have that are also like this one. And as always, I have a my way so I can inspire you to have a your way.